<laughs> Dr. Carter, how are you? I'm pretty good. And you? I'm wonderful. Did I tell you how excited I am to have you as the president of the National Black MBA Association Seattle chapter? Yes, yes. Weekly? Definitely, definitely enjoy daily. it. Da daily? Do I tell you daily? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're wonderful. So today we're talking about a couple of things. We're talking about the National Black MBA Association's National Conference. You went to conference last year, and then we'll talk about this year, but let's talk about last year first. How? Tell us more about your experience. What, so, what would you share with someone who hasn't gone before? So it's really an eye-opening experience. Uh, last year was my first time attending. Uh, I was blown away by the volume by the networking opportunity, by the, uh, the, 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 the engagement that took place. Uh, it was definitely a learning opportunity for me. And of course, I know one of the things that I remarked was I was just amazed that I had never experienced this before. And I wanted to make sure that coming back to Seattle from the conference that we had the opportunity to share and engage with as many people as possible so that they could attend with us this year. Yes, I love it. And what I'm, what I'm seeing of you right now is um, an opportunity to, we're bringing eight people. <laughs> That's a lot from Seattle, as far away as any other chapter is. Why was it so important for you to really take people there, to really spark their fire, their energy about the organization and the legacy? Well, the need for information about the organization and all of the beautiful things that the organization does needs to be spread wide and far. Uh, it does absolutely no good to have this information about what we do and about the things that the organization has accomplished and is still working on accomplishing. And they're not sharing that with with as wide a dissemination or as large a population as possible. Uh, yeah, we're taking eight people. But I'd love it if we were taking 38 people. I'd love it if we were taking 100 people. That's that's how many students it would be nice to have. That's how many entrepreneurs it would be nice to have. That's how many people who are interested in elevating their success. That's how many people it'd be great to have to take with us. That And, that, and we have a plan next year to actually amplify in a way that you all have never seen before. Dr. Carter, I know for you, you have a deep, deep, beautiful passion for youth. And so we're also taking a college student with us this year. Why was the youth element so important? And tell people a little bit more about what you do also in your day job, but why was that, that college student piece so important as it relates to Black MBA, our Leaders of Tomorrow? She's our Director of Leaders of Tomorrow, uh, but she's also, I think she's uh, Secretary of Nesby, like for 10 states or something. She's a super student and from a collegiate perspective. Why was that critical for you? Sure. So in my role with the Breakfast Group, I'm the executive director of their educational programs. Uh, the Breakfast Group provides mentoring to young black and brown boys and young ladies uh, throughout the Seattle area. We work in six Seattle high schools, Cleveland, Franklin, Garfield, Rainier Beach and Roosevelt High Schools and then Rainier Valley Leadership Academy. So the opportunity to work with ninth through 12th grade uh, to talk to them about college readiness, career enhancement, skills for success, and financial literacy prepares our young students for the, the, the purpose that they will work towards once they graduate from high school, whether that's four-year college, two-year university, trade school, military, or if, if their fi family life or situation dictates that they need to go directly into the workforce, they're undeniably talented and trained. We want them to be ready. So when it comes to having the opportunity to take college students with us, I mean, the one thing that we have to be cognizant of is, is that, you know, when we come back to these communities, we want people who look like us to have the opportunities to work in the community as well. And what better way to do that than to look at providing opportunity and networking uh, situations for our young students who are coming out of our high schools and going into our colleges. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful thing to see a college student attend school and then have the opportunity to take their skills and talents to a location where they can build up their repertoire. But to be able to have those students come back 
and meaningfully engage in their community. And whether that's through legal field, whether that's through nursing, whether that's through engineering or technology, they are then shining lights or beacons for the community because we still have freshmen and sophomores and juniors and seniors who need guidance and who need that role model to look up to, to help them move forward and engage. And what better way to do that than to have young people who have had the opportunity to sit in those same seats to come back and talk to our students. Mm, I love, I love that so much. That's so good. And what I love also is that you're not camera shy. So we're bringing eight people that are ready to show up. So we plan to bring this back to our community. All the, not all, but a lot of the wonderful things that are happening there. Our goal is to bring those uh, nuggets back mm -hmm. into community. So yes. the theme for this year is forward. Forward. Tell me a little bit about what, when you hear that word, what does that mean to you? So, um, you know, I, I, I'm brought to a phrase from long ago that says, pay it forward, the opportunity to take the goodness that you've been given and then to pass and then to move that forward, to, to, to pass those good vibes, to pass those opportunities, to pass that networking on forward. Like I said, the one thing that I've learned in years of experience is, you know, sometimes we have the opportunity to be gatekeepers that prevent information from getting out. And, mm. and opportunities from being able to spread abroad because we take good information and then we hold it to ourselves like it only belongs to right. us. That's wrong. Mm. We have to pay. We have to pay these resources forward to our youth. We can't expect them to be better if we don't do better. They emulate yeah. what they see. They emulate who they're around. And if it's us, that means we got to be on top of our game if we expect them to be on top of their game. So paying it forward, moving forward, looking forward is really mm. important. Mm, I love it. So listen, I know you're short on time. I, we have an amazing event. I see the Lululemon logo yes. up here. Nathan, can you share the flyer? There's an upcoming event. So the Lululemon is going to be coming to the Seattle area. They are looking for some talent for a couple of the centers that they have in the area. So they are going to be interviewing talent. We want to make sure we get as wide a dissemination as possible because uh, when companies come to you to engage with you and then to say, hey, we're looking for local talent in your area. And then they come to an organization like the National Black MBA Association Seattle chapter. We want to make sure that we show up by getting that information out as, as well. So we're sharing that with all of our uh, students. We're sharing that with all of our entrepreneurs and we're sharing that with all of our community partners. S call, sign up, make an appointment, and come and uh, see if the opportunities that are going to be provided by Lululemon are going to be something that could help you. Is there anything else that you wanted to promote? You said this event is on um, September 20th. Yes. It's online. Yes. Give us the, give us your best invitation. Why yes. So, we, this so we, have, we have put out the specific information online you so you can catch it on our website you can catch it on our facebook page instagram twitter linkedin uh at several of the colleges in the local area we have flyers that are up on the wall old old school print advertising we we have in place so we want to make sure that we are as well attended as possible again when an organization comes to you and says hey we're doing some hiring and we want to to reach out the people in your local area we want to show up I love it. So we're going to show a quick video. I think we're ready. All right. And with that, I'm going to take off. It's really good to see everyone. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you, Dr. Carter. All right. So y'all, Dr. Carter is the hardest working man in this in, in Seattle, in, in the in the state, actually. So we're going to share a quick video. Go ahead. And the iconic R&B group will be headlining the welcome reception in partnership with 3M. This year's conference theme is Forward, empowering the future to innovate, ignite, and inspire, and will feature keynote speakers, workshops, networking events, and a career expo, all aimed at empowering attendees to ignite their potential and shape the future. Don't miss this fantastic opportunity to learn, connect, and grow. Register now at nbmbaaconference.org. Yeah. 
y'all heard it right here nbmbaaconference.org i'm excited i mean this is literally one of my favorite time of the year so we're actually doing a couple of things so in addition to going to the national conference taking eight leaders with us which is super exciting what we're doing is also we're gonna piggyback on the conversation at the national conference we're going to be at the congressional black caucus conference the following week that's in dc so we were actually planning to do some strategic uh not planning we're doing some strategic visioning some planning we've invited numerous corporate partners to really be a part of true change what i love most about dr carter is when he shows up he's not showing up just to you know highlight an event right these aren't moments this is a movement and so we invite each of you to join us to join us to both do your part to help us move forward like he said pay it forward to truly contribute to others i think we have another video that's ready to go apparently it's not ready to go so i'll tell you a little bit more about what you're going to be in store for at the conference just really quickly the largest professional conference in the country when you go there's you'll see some videos here i think i think we're ready okay i have the best producer we're, we're literally in my backyard as you can see we've had to um pay to be at other locations and we decided we're going to establish a opportunity to tell our story with a level of regularity so while we're at conference we're going to put some information out online we're going to ask you to really engage with us to talk to us about what you want to see who you want to see it with right so that we can prioritize what we're bringing back to you we know there's some there's a leadership institute there's an entrepreneurial institute so there's tons of amazing content but then there's also going to be fun did you see that boys the men there's all kind of great stuff so check out this video this is one of my favorites this year's conference in Philadelphia. And what are you most excited for regarding this year's conference in Philadelphia? So what are you most excited for regarding this year's conference in Philadelphia? Um, so, as you can tell, I'm a cheerleader. I love people. <laughs> my thing is all about engagement. So, um, I'm looking forward to just connecting with, you know, my presidents, the people that I'm on the phone with once a month or more, because this is my new network. These are my friends. These are what I call family that I'm here with. Shout out to all my presidents, past and current. Um, and meeting just new people. Um, and that's just everybody who's coming from their different parts of their journey. So being on the conference floor and seeing everybody just scramble to find the next session. It's, it's just, it's amazing. Ever since I joined this association, like this has been the highlight of my uh, year, every year. And so I'm very dedicated to the association and I just love our mission. So if you haven't bought your ticket at the conference, definitely buy it now. Um, you don't miss out on the welcome party. Don't miss out on all the rest of the things that we have going on. It's not just about a party. It's about meeting the people. So really utilize your time. Okay. No, keep going. My <laughs> very first conference, 2008. And so every year I come and I look forward to connecting and seeing other Black professionals. I always say it's my time to recharge mm -hmm. and I get motivated because I also work in an industry where it's not a lot of me. Mm -hmm. um, and so coming to see a lot of black professionals every year is what I look forward to. Um, I also I'm looking forward to some of the changes this year, the, the targeted track that are for different career levels and seeing how people come and continue to grow. Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'm excited about for Philly is the HBCU Innovation Hub. It's a new part of the expo. We're gonna have about, I think 10 to 15 HBCUs in a central location. And we have a surprise. I can't talk about it right now. You could have come on the show and I don't know. bring, don't, don't spill the tea. They would hurt me if I told you. But just know the tea is brewing and you want to be there. That's all I can say. Trust me. Now nah, I'm upset. But I, thought we were, I thought we were friends. Come wow. up to me. I'm giving you some lemon and honey for that tea. So it would be good. good. All right. You heard it here first. <laughs> Did you love that? I don't know why, um, you know, 
this is my favorite time of year besides the fact that everything that they said is true. Everything that they said is true. It's like a homecoming. These are presidents, past presidents. These are chapter leaders. These are the best of the best, the best and the brightest that are all coming together. We'll be in Philly. It's so exciting. And again, lots and lots of amazing content, sharing, learning that we will bring back to you. There's also a lot of fun. And so I could not be more excited. And then the Congressional Black Caucus, I've never gone, but we're actually going with one of our legacy leaders. We're taking our founding president. So there's just going to be a level of just deep connections that I am so excited to bring to you. So more to come. <laughs> Join us, y'all. Oh, so much more to come. Thanks.